Our full-time course in complementary therapies runs over an academic year from September to June. This one-year course leads to training in five diverse therapies. On completion, you'll have five diplomas. In Term 1, we study holistic massage. We also cover the theory components of holistic massage, anatomy and physiology, professional conduct and business awareness. In Term 2, we study hot stone massage, on-site massage and Indian head massage. In Term 3, we study sports massage. What follows is a short demonstration of the techniques involved in each therapy and a brief description of each one. Holistic massage is a full body massage that includes work on the face and scalp. It is based on classical Swedish massage movements with a particular emphasis on relaxation. These classical movements of effleurage, petrissage, percussion and vibration also form the basis for many other therapies. Holistic massage is one of the most popular and widely used forms of massage in the Western world. During training, students will work in pairs. This means that students receive treatment daily while training. Stone therapy introduces the concepts of thermotherapy and cryotherapy with the use of heated basalt stones and chilled marbled stones. The alternating use of hot and cold has a very pronounced effect on the circulatory system. The placement of hot stones is deeply relaxing and has a balancing effect on the energies of the body. On-site massage is a form of seated acupressure. Shown here is the use of elbow work to treat acupressure points in the back. As the client remains clothed, it is a versatile form of body work in terms of the settings in which it can be practiced. Use of this therapy has become very popular in the workplace. The stretching movements used in on-site massage target the muscles prone to overuse in arm intensive activities such as long hours spent working at a computer. Indian head massage forms an integral part of traditional Ayurvedic medicine. The focus of this therapy is to alleviate neck and shoulder tension and to increase circulation to the head and scalp. It aims to balance the flow of energy through the chakras, leaving the client refreshed and relaxed. Indian head massage improves the condition of the hair and can help stimulate hair growth. Sports massage combines a wide variety of advanced bodywork techniques. This equips the therapist with the necessary tools to treat a broad range of soft tissue dysfunctions. These techniques can alleviate neuromuscular pain, break down adhesions and fibrosis, and restore full range of motion. This is particularly important for the competitive athlete. Training will also focus on the treatment of sports injuries and rehabilitation programs. We'll learn how to treat in pre and post event situations, how to do postural assessments and gait assessments. We'll also learn how we can modify these techniques to treat non-athletes, people who suffer from chronic conditions of repetitive strain and overuse. As you can see, each therapy has its own style and something unique to offer. The advantage with full-time training is that you get to completely immerse yourself in the subject that you're studying. You get an awful lot of practice and you become extremely competent in the therapy that you're learning, with about 70% of the course time devoted to the hands-on practical work. We turn out extremely skilled therapists at the end of the training courses. So I hope you'll view more video clips or come along and talk to us about our training programs.